Thank you. Well, everyone, please rise for the singing of the national anthem. The anthem will be sung by the Norwood High School Silhouettes, directed by Mr. Adam Robinson. Will you please stay standing for the playing of the Norwood High School alma mater? Thank you, you may be seated. Good evening and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2019. I'm Brad Winterod, the principal of Norwood High School, and I would like to personally welcome all parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, and other family members of the class of 2019. I would also like to welcome the Norwood City Schools Board of Education, Superintendent Sabo, honored guest, and the professional staff of Norwood High School. This is always my favorite day of the school year, the culminating event where I'm able to witness 13 years of education come to an end. Today, I'm very proud of the seniors in the class of 2019. And so as I speak to you one last time as Norwood High School students, I would like to challenge you. As you walk into adulthood, I want to challenge you to walk with purpose but as you go, I want you to remember the little things. 
The little things are people, places, ideas, and events that may seem insignificant, but in reality make life enjoyable and sweet. When I'm traveling down south with my family, we always stop at the same restaurant that serves Creole food. I cannot even begin to tell you how great the food is. But the best part of the meal is not even on the menu. Instead, it is hidden in a small display case in the back corner of the restaurant. And if a customer takes the time to check out the display case, he will be rewarded with, the, with what the owner has labeled as sweet thangs. Not things, but sweet thangs. It's a Southern term. These mouthwatering gems are what is talked about the whole ride home and all the next day. If you did not take time to sample the sweet things, you would leave the restaurant unfulfilled, not quite satisfied. And to be truly satisfied, one must indulge in the sweet things. Seniors in life, there are real tangible sweet things, and I don't want you to miss them. I want you to savor the sweet things in your life and keep coming back for more. Alistair McAlpine is a medical doctor in London, England. One day he started pondering about the sweet things in life and he decided to ask his terminal pediatric palliative care patients this question. What have you enjoyed most in your life? What gave it meaning? He found out that kids can be really wise. First, none said they wished they had watched more TV. None said they should have spent more time on social media. None said they enjoyed fighting with others and none enjoyed the hospital. Many mentioned their pets. I love Rufus, his funny bark makes me laugh. I love when Jenny snuggles up to me at night and purrs. I was happiest riding Jake on the beach. The children also mentioned their parents often expressing concerns. Hope mom will be okay, she seems sad. Dad mustn't worry, he will see me again soon. And God will take care of my mom and dad when I am gone. All the kids, loved ice cream. All of them loved books or being told stories, especially by their parents. Harry Potter made me feel brave. I love stories about space. I want to be a great detective like Sherlock Holmes when I'm better. Many wish they had spent less time worrying about what others thought of them and they value people who treated them well. My real friends didn't care when my hair fell out. Jane came to visit after the surgery. She didn't even notice the scar. Many of the children love swimming and the beach. I like to build sandcastles. Being in the ocean with the waves was so exciting. Almost every child valued kindness above any other virtue. My granny is so kind to me, she always makes me smile. I like it when the kind nurse is here. She's gentle and it hurts less. Kids love people who made them laugh. And although they did not explicitly say it, Laughter relieves pain. Kids love their toys and their superheroes. My princess doll is my favorite. I love Batman. Finally, all the kids valued time with their families. Nothing was more important. Mom and dad are the best. My sister always hugs me tight. No one loves me like my family. The take home message today, embrace the sweet things. Be kind, read books, crack jokes, hug your dog, go to the ocean, play outside, and most assuredly spend quality time with your family. Tell the special people that you love them. These are the sweet things. Everything else, just details. Thank you and good luck to the class of 2019. And next, I would like to introduce the president of the class of 2019, Jack Zimmerman. Every turn or bend and a road resembles our learning path. We take off in one direction and we go in so many other places. 
we'll turn left and right to explore new options. Sometimes we'll be going up a hill and we really have to push the pedal to get through the tough times. Sometimes everything will just fall together and we'll not even have to put our foot on the gas, but we can just take a second to relax. What you decide to do when you leave the ceremony today will be another big decision. So we all really have to decide, are we gonna go right, left, straight? We can take a U-turn, get on the highway, or we can put it in park. We have some really big decisions in front of us. Are we going to college? Where are we going to college? What do you wanna be when you get older? Do you wanna get married? Do you wanna have kids later in life? How is a 17 to 18 year old young adult supposed to decide this? The truth is we can't. We're driving right now, but we don't have a GPS with us. We don't know exactly how to get where we wanna be. We're still looking for some signs to point us in the right direction to help in making those decisions. We've already met some amazing friends, family members, and teachers that will help us develop and decide what to do next. We can't be afraid to ask for directions. Every bit of help will get us to where we truly want to be. When you all get older, I hope and pray that when times get hard, you drive just like my dad and you slam on the gas to get through those tough times. And I also hope and pray that you guys can all take a second to release and just take a second to enjoy life. Today is one of those moments for us. This is a day we won't ever forget. We don't get a second chance to do it. Just like the roads leading out of the city that we call home, we will all leave and go in different directions. Some of us will go east, west, north, south. Some of us will leave the country and some of us will choose to stay here at home. People in here are going to be artists, athletes, musicians, scholars, doctors, lawyers, plumbers, electricians, and much more. Some of the people in here today are going into the military. And for you all, I thank you and salute you for you're all doing something I could never do and you're helping everybody else in here have the freedom to pursue their dream. A wise person once told me, words are powerful, so use them wisely. I love you all. It has truly been a pleasure to spend the past four years of my life with you. Thank you. Great job, sir. It is now my pleasure to introduce Emily Isaac, the salutatorian for the class of 2019. Life is a continuous cycle of endings and new beginnings. Some endings are more difficult than others, and regardless of what hardships you may have endured these past four years, you conquered. Take a moment and congratulate yourselves. Cool. As we close this chapter of our lives, we are faced with the uncertainty that accompanies the emergence of a new story. For many, this journey into the unknown may be intimidating. However, this is not your first time entering into the world of the undefined. Think back to your first day of high school. Anxiety filled your body as your mind pondered a million and one things that could go wrong. What if you forget your locker combination or fail a test? Despite not knowing the outcome, you dove in anyway. Everything has always been uncertain. Yet when you look at the past, it feels more certain than it actually was. You stressed as a freshman, yet here you are, graduating. You've already proven to yourself that you have the ability to overthrow uncertainty, so don't let it start rolling you as you take the next step. It's all too easy to get overwhelmed by the number of choices you have and fail to decide anything at all. Life is about choices, and an infinite number of choices brought you here today. As a wise friend once told me, our ability to choose is what leaves our mark on the world. Choose to live the life that best suits you. There is no one way to live life, and if there were, the world would be emotionless and devoid of personality. Evolution and change end where complacency begins. And thank goodness that we evolved, that we all evolved since freshman year. 
I don't think I really need to explain why. Live your life without worrying about every choice you make. I want to leave you with a quote from singer Brent Smith. The first step is the one you believe in. Congratulations, class of 2019, and may the future bring us nothing but the best. And our next presenter is the valedictorian of the graduating class of 2019, Elijah Keys. Okay. All right, so I came here last year and I wasn't aware that the valedictorian had to give a speech. So I sat right over there and at the possibility of knowing that I would have to do this, my heart sank in my chest. And it's still there right now, so I'm a little nervous. But uh, I figured an easy way to get over the nerves and get out what I want to say to everyone is through a song. And there's background music, guitar and stuff, but I think the lyrics will do just fine for now. And it's called The Best Kept Secret. So, thank you for the last four years. They've been the best of my life. For the friends and memories, there is nothing I'd sacrifice. So many dedicated teachers here, changing the world one kid at a time. Thanks to the counselors with open ears and gear up for saving our behinds. So grab your cap, throw up that hat, because this is nothing compared to what comes next. I hope you all live your lives learning whether you win or lose. Let your heart be a guide in whatever path you choose. There'd be a little instrumental break right there, by the way. So grab your cap, take off that hat, because this is nothing compared to what comes next. And I'd like to say before we dismiss, just how much I will miss. All the memories and all the bliss here in Ohio's best kept secret. Right, so thanks again to everyone who's helped me uh, experience personal growth over this last year. All the teachers, counselors, students, faculty, for just making the last four years so great, and congratulations, class of 2019. Now I would like to introduce the superintendent of the Norwood City Schools, Dr. Catherine Sabo. Well, thank you, Mr. Winterrod. Good evening and welcome to graduation for the class of what they like to call 2019. I'd like to begin by honoring our guests, veterans and those presently serving in the United States military. Would you please stand and be recognized? We truly appreciate your commitment. If you are a Norwood graduate, would you please stand with me and be recognized? All right, thank you for joining us, alumni. <laughs> Graduates, I want you to look into that audience at your family, the parents, the guardians. Would you please stand and be recognized for all that you have done to make this evening so very possible? Come on, parents. Graduates, give them a round. Well, class of 2019, or 2019, I hope you notice the many Norwood graduates in attendance here this evening. They are also part of your family. Tonight, they will become your Norwood brothers and sisters. You are part of a long history of talented and very successful Norwood graduates. And it's been said that we stand on the shoulders of those who have gone before us. And this is true in Norwood. What a year it's been, graduates. This final year has included the anticipation of claiming this as your senior year, one that you wanted to make the best year of all, and in small ways, you've been saying goodbye to Norwood High and looking toward your future. As you close your door on high school, you're probably getting a lot of unsolicited advice about your future. This is what people do who want to ensure your success. So I, being a smart person, decided to talk to some of your siblings about some advice that could perhaps help you in order to be successful. 
I found your siblings very insightful. I should remind you they're all Norwood students and none of them were 12th graders. So let me tell you what they said. Judd thinks that you should all work hard. Rebecca says you should all get a good job and make some money. Dylan suggested that you should just keep following your dreams. Caroline thinks that you should work hard and do what you think you're meant to do. Joshua says, you'll be successful as long as you know math, reading, writing, social studies, and science. Shaw says, work hard and it will pay off. Danny reports that you should not be late for anything and don't do your work last minute. Eden says you should just stay on track. Nadine advises you to get good grades. And Bran says to be successful, you really need to be a good reader. Family has a way of telling us exactly what we need to hear, don't they? Well, let me join your siblings in giving you some big sister, Norwood sister advice. I do believe you are completely ready for your next steps, whether they be college, career, workforce, or even the military. For years, you have been getting ready for this evening. And with the support of your parents, family, friends, and Norwood staff, getting to this point is a true sense of accomplishment. You have everything necessary already inside of you to be successful. Every next level of your life will demand a better you. Work on making your strengths great and work on making your weaknesses less prevalent. Be ready to make a difference because in small ways and in big ways, you will be given the opportunity. Each morning awaken that on this day, you will work to make the world a better place. Don't forget about that Peace Builder pledge that you faithfully recited every day in middle school. Praise people, give up put downs, seek wise people, notice and speak up about hurts you've caused, right wrongs, and help others. You know, our Alumni Association motto is give something back, founded on helping others. The world needs great people that have something to give. Each day, work to be of service, ready to give, ready to honor your alma mater. Class of 2019, you are celebrated this evening by parents, family, friends, and lots of well-wishers, expressing their love and joy just by attending this big moment in your life. We believe your foundation is strong. From all of the Norwood graduates that have gone before you and the Norwood faculty, we want you to know that we care deeply about your success. Consider us your Norwood family. On behalf of the Norwood City School District, I wanna express our gratitude for your effort to meet and complete the requirements set by the Ohio Department of Education for a high school diploma. Congratulations, class of 2019. Love and honor. And now I'd like to introduce Mr. Tim Bryant, the president of the Norwood City Schools Board of Education. Yeah, <laughs> I'd like to talk to you about some things that I've learned in my journey, most from experience. Some of them I've heard, learned in passing all of them are still trying to practice today, but I do believe they are true. Life is not easy, it is not. Don't try to make it out that way. Life's not fair, it never was, it isn't now, and it won't ever be. Don't fall into the trap, the entitlement trap, of feeling like you're a victim, you are not. Get over it and get on with it. So the question we have to ask ourselves is what the success is to us? What is success is to you? Is it to make a lot of money? Maybe it's a healthy family. Maybe it's a happy marriage. Maybe it's to help others, to be famous, 
to be spiritually sound, to leave the world a little better place than what it is. Continue to ask yourself that question. Now your answer may change over time and it's fine, but do yourself this favor. Whatever your answer is, don't choose anything that will jeopardize your soul. Prioritize who you are, who you want to be, and don't spend time with anything that will antagonize your character. Be brave, take that hill. First ask yourself, what's my hill? So first, we have to define success for ourselves and put in the work to maintain it. Make that daily talent, tend our gardens, keep the things important to us in good shape. Where you are not is as important as where you are. It is just as important where you are not than it is where you are. Look, the first step that leads us to our identity in life is usually not, I know who I am. I know who I am. That's not the first step. The first step is, I know who I am not. Process of elimination. Defining ourselves by what we are not is the first step that leads us to really knowing who we are. You know, that group of friends you hang out with might not bring out the best in you. Maybe they gossip too much. Maybe they're a little shady. Really not going to be there for you in a pinch. Or that computer screen. That computer screen that keeps giving us an excuse not to get out of the house and engage in the world and get some real human interaction. Or what about that food we eat? Tastes so good going down, makes us feel like crap the next week, leaves us feeling lethargic, we'll keep putting on weight. Well, those people, those places, those things, stop giving them your time and your energy. Just don't go there. Just put them down. And when you do this, and when you put them down, and you quit going there, and you quit giving them your time, you inadvertently find yourself spending more time and in more places that are healthy for you, and it will bring you joy. Why? Because you just eliminated the who's, the where's, the what's that was keeping you from your identity. Trust me, too many options. I promise you, too many options will make a tyrant of us all. So get rid of the excess, the wasted time. Decrease your options. And if you do this, you accidentally, almost innocently, put in front of you what's important to you by process of elimination. Knowing who we are is hard. It's hard. Give yourself a break. Eliminate who you are not first, and you will find yourself where you need to be. Instead of creating outcomes that take from us, let's create outcomes that pay us back. Fill us up. Keep your fire lit. Turn you on for the most time you have in your future. We try our best. We don't always do our best. But our architects is a verb as well. And since we are the architecture of our own lives, let's study the habits, the practices, the routines that we have that lead to and feed us our success. Our joy, our honest pain, our laughter, our earned tears. Let's dissect that and give thanks for those things. And when we do that, guess what happens? We get better at them, and then we have more to dissect. Be discerning. Do it because you want it. Choose it because you want it. We're going to make mistakes. You got to own them. And then you got to make amends. And then you got to move on. Guilt and regret has killed many a men before their time. So turn the page. You are the author of your book of life. Congratulations, and God bless you. And now for the presentation of diplomas and certification of graduates. Elijah Norman Keyes. Emily Rose Isaac. Jack Allen Zimmerman. His diploma will be presented to him by his mother, Laura Zimmerman. Beth Ann Adams.
Noah Brendan Adamson. Maggie Suzanne Allen. Atta Naeem Almasari. Elijah Scott Anderson. Jose Jonathan Gerald Arthur. Ryan Francis Arthur. Blake Henry Bear. His diploma will be given to him by the Board of Education President, Mr. Tim Bryant. Hayden Jerome Burling. Caitlin Nicole Bentz. Holly Marie Borgaminke. Her diploma will be given to her by her mother, Nancy Borgaminke. Rashana Rosetta Maria Ann Boykins. Shanisa Lene Bronson. Mason Daly Brown. Tayshawn Kier Brown. Lauren Latrice Burns. Micah Israel Bush. James Michael Canada. Destiny Faith Carter. Brittany Alexis Clark. Jeffrey Allen Collins, Jr. Dylan Scott Daniels. Elijah Patrick Dassler. Brian Avery Dean. Kara Marie Deshawn. Joshua Blake Duncan. Liz Dunker. Mackenzie Lynn Duvall. Her diploma will be given to her by her mother, Joy Duvall. Alex Michael Inslee. Jose Fernando Fernandez Galvin. Samantha Elizabeth Fondenberger. Ashley Nicole G.
Nellie Janet Gonzalez Quinones. Naomi Joy Griswold. Caitlin Julia Hackney. William Cody Haney. William Jamie Harris. Markel Jerry Christopher Hurd. Kyle Nair Henderson. Adam Adonoram Herrera. Savannah Lee Howard. Ziamara Isabel Velasco. Mackenzie Lee Ireton. Sophia Madeline Isaacs. Olivia Michelle Luann Jesse. Alexis Jeanette Marie Johnson. Kiara Chanel Johnson. Derek Lee Kirby. Jaden Elijah Coleman. Kennedy Olivia Lee. Ayana Nicole Lockett. Christopher Everett Marple. Jada Marie Martin. Gregory Todd Melton II. Frida Mendez Reynoso. Hazel Maya Mersch. Wilmer Antonio Machetti Munoz. Jacob Paul Anthony Moore. Caleb McKay Morris. His diploma will be given to him by Nancy Borgaminke. Haley Schuyler Mounts. Ahmed Saeed Oday. Jesus Pacheco Garcia. William Joseph Pilkerton. Abigail Susan Previtt. Madison Francis Ratliff. Kristen Macy Reno.
Destiny Lynn Luvinia Rieger. Presley James Riggs. His diploma will be given to him by his mother, Mrs. Debbie Riggs. <laughs> Yatsari Rodriguez. Damon Allen Romero. Lilith Sarah Rose. Kaylee Ann Ryan. Her diploma will be given to her by her mother, Rhonda Ryan. Connor Nicholas Sake. Nalita Marie Secrets Bellama. Christine Victoria Sinek Pernina. Giovanni Raul Sepulveda. Oscar Rose Spilly. Caitlin Nicole Streaker. Claire Madison Sumner. Her diploma will be given to her by her mother, Amy Sumner. Kenny Scott Tate Anderson. Logan Carmichael Taylor. Shelby Joy Tittle. Angel Valdez. Kayla Nicole Vaughn. Her diploma will be given to her by her stepfather, Mitch Carell. Cadence Elizabeth Wallace. Dakota Curtis Walters. <laughs> Sophia Wands. Pacey Nakoa West. Madison Irvin and Lemaine Whitmore. Jacob Dakota Wilder. Connor Scott Williamson. Brianna Paige Winchester. Gwendolyn Ann Wright. Michael Christine Young Rainey. Sergio Zaninga Carrillo. <laughs> Trent.
Trevor Ray Carter. Tyler Ray Carter. Benjamin June Banning. Christian Andrew Hirsch. Clinton James Iorfita. Lemuel Malkia James. Christian Kenneth Keys. Michaela Ann Rayford. All right, let's hear it for the class of 2019. Nice. Would the class of 2019 please rise to your feet? Mr. President, it is my pleasure to announce to you that the students in the graduating class of 2019 have met all the requirements of the state of Ohio, and they have met all the requirements of the Norwood City Schools, and they are ready to graduate. Jack, count them down. Congratulations, graduates of the class of 2019. Right? One, two, one, two, three. 